This is the most powerful defense in Madden 23. What's going on YouTube? My name is Cody. I want to welcome you here to the YouTube channel. And today we're going to be breaking down my personal favorite defense right now for several different reasons. Um, but the main one is what we're about to show you with how powerful the nickel over defense is against really any formation. It doesn't matter what the formation is. This is going to be very effective. The play is over Storm Brave, and the setup is really simple. All you're going to do is you are going to pinch your defense. Now, if you wanted to, if you didn't want to press, you could simply pinch your D-line and pinch your linebackers, and then you're just going to use her, this guy that is guarding the running back. Now, you can stand here, but the problem with this is if they throw the ball to the flat quick, it can be hard for you to use her, the running back. Okay, uh, so what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and stand right in between the guard and the tackle. And we want to kind of take a little jab step in, hold left trigger, and then come out. And what you'll see here, pressure will come off of both sides. And you see how fast it is. Now, that's the reason this defense is so powerful is because the defense gets pressure really, really fast. That is the key. Now, if the running back blocks, we want to kind of swoop in and then kind of come out here. And what you'll see is the pressure will still be instantaneous. Now, where the scheme becomes really powerful is if you put edge threat on your defensive line. Um, and the main reason is because once they start to max protect, then you'll see here that my edge threat is going to be lined up with a, um, a tight end. And it's going to give me a lot of opportunity to be able to get pressure. Now, occasionally what you might try to do, especially if they're sitting five out a lot, is if you contain here, sometimes the contain will actually pick this ball off to the running back. It didn't right there, but I want to show you an instant replay, just kind of a unique little thing that you can do. And I'll show you, uh, I actually played a game against somebody that was doing this to me, but if you contain this player, um, what, what you don't want to contain this guy because you want his edge start to light up, but if you contain this guy, the guy on the running back side, see how he's kind of like lurking here? He doesn't animate here, but I'm telling you right now, sometimes this actually happens. Let me see if I can find this clip for you. Now, if you want to get my entire nickel normal defensive ebook and all the abilities as well, um, I'm going to put a link in the description to our Patreon. That's where you can get access to everything. But here it was. I was playing this guy. Watch this real quick. Watch his defensive end on the left. See, I'm like, okay, I got the step. Notice he's doing the kind of the contain, if you will. And you'll literally see this guy will pick the ball off and he runs it back for six. And he did that like two or three times to me. So that's just something kind of free for you if you wanted to kind of mess around with that. Another thing you can do is you can man this defensive end up on the running back. And if the running back goes on a route, you're still going to get pressure. But now you have this defensive end that's going to guard him. The problem can be, again, we want to kind of make sure – uh, the whole purpose of this defense is to guarantee our pressure. That's really what we're trying to get here. If we man up the running back, sometimes that guy won't blitz and we won't get that instant quick pressure um, that we really, really want to be able to do. Okay. So anyways, that's all your setup. What I like to do, one last thing is I'm going to talk about the coverage aspect of this real quick. So from a coverage perspective, you're in a man zero blitz. So what you want to do is you want to shade outside and over top and then you want to pinch your defense and you're going to be right in here now from here you can adjust your coverage for example we could play um you know a cover three on the right side actually a really good thing to do against u trips i think is to play a you know a kind of a cover three shell over here on the right and then you know i'm gonna do something like this kind of lurk back to the middle and kind of lurk quick but the pressure from this is so powerful and then what you can also do that I really like to do is go ahead and just simply drop these two guys in purple zones um, for your defensive linebackers. And then you're going to bluff blitz this guy right here. You're still going to lurk in the running back if he goes out. But then you see how this play can really bag. Um, and again, they're going to be in position where they have to, you know, pass protect to pick up the pressure. Now, again, there's a lot more nuance to this defense. There's actually a lot more that you can do with this defense as well. Um, you know, so make sure you're in our Patreon. The link is in the description if you want to sign up for it. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. But I think that it's fair to say this is probably the most dominating defense right now in the game because the pressure is so powerful, but also has a lot of things you can do from a adjustments perspective to handle a lot of the meta formations that we're seeing, U-trips, bunch trips, tight, all that stuff.